Hello everyone, my name is Lanso90 and welcome back to Let's Play Pillars of Eternity. So we just finished creating our character in the last one. We are going to be Ranger from the X uh, Middle Plains. I have no idea how you're supposed to pronounce that. They might say it in-game eventually and we'll be able to figure it out. We were a laborer, but we're also a ranger. Let's uh, get into it. Caravan Master finishes addressing the group. He has a bushy red mustache and sagging jowls, quivering as if for emphasis. Everybody stays close to the wagons, got it? Stay out of the woods, and beasts take you if you were planning a stroll through those ruins up there. He nods toward a looming black mass on the hillside. Whole area is crawling with hut-dwelling types who would be happy to stick an axe in you for trespassing. So mind that you don't track mud on their sacred blazing rocks. Tonight, everybody stays put, and in the morning, we'll get the path cleared. Gilded veils less than a day out. Understood? Unless the caravan master turns to you, frowning as he looks you over. Touch of the rumbling rot, could be. There's a stinging beetle around here, carries it. You'll be fine once it passes your innards. Unless you don't drink water, of course. Which case, you'll be dead in a day. There's a berry grows in these parts, small and pink. Called a springberry. About the size of a fingernail. Give you cramps if you eat it, but the frontiersmen make a tea from it. Calms the insides. Should get you through the night. You might check around, see if you can find some. Meanwhile, I'll see if we can scare you up some water. I know you want to hunt before it gets much darker, but see about refilling our water first. Got a sick one here. Nods in your direction. Sparkle nods. Slides the worn bow over his shoulder. Where would I find they these berries? A bush that's common around here. Kind of funny looking. You'll know it when you see it. Doubt you'd have to go far off the road to find one. What Nothing are you rooms? won't see on half the hills of Air Glonfoth. Money to be made selling their knickknacks in Defiance Bay, if you don't mind getting stuck with Glonfoth and arrows now and again. They didn't build them, but I'll be the effigy if they don't watch them like a mother bear. Of course, all the ones around here have been ransacked ten times over. Got nothing left worth half a pawn, so I hear. Who did got build different these names rooms. for them. Settlers called them Inguithans. Nobody that liked them enough to stop them becoming ruins tell you that much. Is it dangerous out here? Not if you hurry about your business. And not if the weather holds up. And weather do they get this out here? This time of year, rain mostly, and wind. But there's a different kind of wind out here time to time. Locals call it a beowick. Born out of the ether, the spirit's path. Never seen it myself, never care to. Where are these huge rocks coming out of the ground? They don't got Audra where you come from? Well, it just grows up out of the ground like this. Goes deep like tree roots. Some of it all the way to the heart of the world, you believe the stories. It's more like a shell than a proper rock. Easier to work if you're a mason. Got all kinds of strange properties. Seems to have some kind of life of its own. Dies if it gets dug up. Loses its luster. Folks think it probably grew at one point or another, but not these days. The soul butchers in Defiance Bay use it for different things. I've heard tell it can hold a man's soul, but I don't care to see it. Got enough to worry about without seeing something like that. Go see about those berries, then. Hold on. Take someone with you. I know you're not some helpless tenderfoot, not like most of this lot. But you drop dead, I don't want to be looking for the body. Got a schedule to keep. Scans with the travelers, resting his eyes uh, length at a sturdy, armor-clad woman that has spent the journey's night sleeping on uneven ground without a blanket or pillow. Kalisha. Kalisha! The woman looks up on her own time. He needs to find some spring berries. Watch that he doesn't drop dead. No promises. What kind of guide says something like that? Kind you can afford. Don't listen to her. You're in good hands. And I pay too well, if anything. Off with you. Hayden should have supplies. See that you're equipped before you head out. We're in harsh country. Get your berries and hurry back. And if you get so much as a tickle of wind, you drop everything and you run. Something in the air tonight. If it's a beowick, we'll shelter in the ruins. Hut dwellers be damned. 
You heard the man. Let's get going before you keel over. Right. I've already read all these tutorial messages. Mm -hmm. Still got this uh, view here on. Huh? Indeed. These tall glass green pillars appear as if they were sprouted from the earth, flickering. The flickering fire sets shadows dancing within them. Still don't know exactly how these looting buttons work. This one says take all, but it immediately puts it in the stash. If you click on the stash, it also puts it in the stash, so I don't really know. Just been clicking and dragging it for myself. Do your wooden clothing. I don't know what kind of levels of armor I'm gonna wear with this character. Because, like I said, in this game. It doesn't restrict your arcane ability like it does in D&D. &D. It doesn't restrict your deflection rate or your dexterity like it does in D&D. &D. Um, what it does is it just makes it take longer to recover from every action you do. So that means it takes longer to attack, which means you're kind of lowering your DPS. Essentially. So I might want to go to something a little bit lighter than scale mail. We'll see. Horses back here. There's uh, consumable stuff you can pick up off the ground for crafting and things. Generation. Oh, this is my inventory. Okay, this is where my inventory is selected. Anyone need supplies? I've got sundries for sale. See a man wearing simple but mostly unique clothes. He's transfixed, however, by a ragged tear in the seam of his tunic. Brought a whole wagon full of goods to sell, but not enough shirts for the road. He scratches one cheek with his knuckles. It's covered with uneven stubble, as if he hasn't gotten used to shaving on the road. I say, is there anything you need? I've got some basic traveling supplies for sale, if you'd like to take a look. Who are you? I'm a trader. Originally from the Adir Empire, but I've been trying to establish new business out here. Life on the road has brought some unexpected challenges, to be sure. And I'm sure you've noticed how prickly the locals can be. But we're here to make the most of things, right? So, this is our first uh, dialogue option that will change, like, our uh, disposition. Our attitude, so to say. Doesn't that look like that? I'm sure you'll do well, passionate. If you think those caravanners are piggly, watch out for those axe wielders, a demo mentioned. Clever. Incredibly by Neve, I'm supposed to surprise you lasted this long. Well, I don't think we're cruel. I don't know if we're passionate, though. Or clever. Mm -hmm. I guess I'll go with passion. We'll see, I suppose. I'm just trying to do right by my family. Something else you need? Looks like we're settled for the night. Tell me about the idea. It's Empire. not as big as it used to be, but it's still big. The mainland is a continent northwest of here, but the colonies used to include Rayad Saris and the Deerwood. About 150 years ago, Deerwood won its independence from the Empire. A fact our companions are quick to remind me of. Because you lopsided grin and nonsense the other scattered cabin ears. Why did you move all the way out here? Because it seemed friendlier than Rayad Saris? <laughs> My brothers took over the family mercantile business a few years ago, and there wasn't enough for me to do back home. I moved out to try and expand. Deerwood is a former Adir colony, so it seemed like a good place to start. As much as I admire Raid Saren's worth ethic, they always struck me as a little fanatical. Sounds reasonable enough. That's high-minded of you. Seems like you got the short end of the stick. Uh, rational probably makes sense. I don't see it that way. Ben's restacking the crates in his wagon. My brothers and I are all working together for the sake of my family enterprise. Let's see what you've got. So we have a bow. I haven't exactly looked at our bow. Maybe we should look at our stuff before I go through this. I wonder if there's a... No, I have to... 
we have a Warbow, two-handed. Has a 0.5 second attack speed. Damage is 15 to 22 pierce. Versus deflection. Something else you need? Here's a hunting bow. Interesting that it doesn't compare it here. I think it does compare it when you have it in your inventory, but could be wrong. Oh, I can look at this one. Up the same range, same price. Speed is average. Speed is average. Of two-handed, eleven through seventeen damage. Fifteen through twenty-two. Sounds like the war bow's better on all counts. I don't know why I would use the hunting bow. Especially since they're the same price. Get brigadine if we want for heavy armor. Despite its unassuming appearance, the brigadine provides impressive protection to its wearer at the cost of speed in combat. It is made of dozens. Sorry, I got interrupted there. Uh, where was I reading it at? A speed and combat has made a dozen steel plates sandwiched between canvas or leather. Plates are held in place by a distinctive rivets across the surface of the brigadine. Oh, there is a compare button once you right click on it, so maybe that's what I could have done. Let's do that just to see how it's up with this hunting bow. And it's still not. It's not like a. You know, like a. I don't know what I'm trying to say here. Like World of Warcraft, where it says plus or minus DPS and stuff. It says it can be fired more quickly, but I'm not sure I believe it. Because the interrupt thing is like the same. Not sure I believe that one. Um... I could lower my armor down to this leather armor if I wanted. Another interesting thing, and again, it's another thing I'm not sure if I agree with it, if it's a good idea or not, but all armor, it's kind of like, it's like, like the stats, it's all balanced. Every point of damage reduction comes with a 5% recovery speed reduction. It's a hard value. In D&D you'll see it like not really match up between the dexterity penalty and the uh, uh, damage reduction levels. For example, if I recall, like a chain shirt has like medium armor kind of armor strength, but it also has really high dexterity, it's just more expensive than normal. This one it doesn't. In fact, the leather armor is worth the same amount of money as the scale armor. Still, that said, we might want the 5% difference, except we will lose money on that trade, so. How about that? You know, we'll go all the way down to padded armor. There's probably even weaker armors, too. Low padded armor. Usually, padded armor is the weakest armor in the game, but not in this case. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna exchange them around. Try to get something. Sell this. I'll grab a couple of lockpicks. But I don't think I'll trade anything else. We should pick up some more loot here in a moment. We kind of do need a melee weapon, but we should get it. Technically, I have one mechanic skill, so I can unlock most locks, but there might be one or two that aren't at my level here. Explore around a bit. Fallen tree doesn't budge. Sap loses from its jagged wounded trunk. Not looking forward to trying to lift that thing tomorrow. Is 
So I know where to go to make the plot advance. So what I'm going to do is kind of avoid advancing the plot for a little bit I'll so have I can your water explore. Soon enough. Stream's not going anywhere. Path winds its way through a narrow canyon, back the way you came, grooves in the road. Shouldn't mark, stray too far. Mark passage of hundreds of caravans. So we have to go this way to advance the plot, but I'm gonna avoid it for now. I'd kinda like the wolf to be in front of me if I could. Let's uh, actually work on that. Oop. That. I don't know what that is. Oh dear. Chase it. Oh, I think I missed this one. Always made our looters, bandits. Smells. Yeah, hold on. It's gonna go away, I think. Corpse is cool to the touch, and the right smell wafts from his putrid in a wave. Dark crust of blood stains. Your smirch is simpler than clothing. Here's some leather armor. Just as I said, we might find some. I think we're gonna switch to it. Just because it seems a little bit more fitting for a ranger character. Now, I wonder since we found this. I didn't find this last time, actually. I don't know why I didn't go this way. I wonder if I should go back. I was made our looters a band's bad sign, anyway, you figure it. I wonder if we could tell people. Oh, that would. I'm gonna try. Can speed up game time here. Go on then, before it gets it's too dark. Uh, uh, I can't talk to him. Okay. I was gonna try to warn him about the bodies that we found. Set to be permanently on. This is recent. Not good. So we've explored everything except for the quest objective now. By the way, this is how I play a lot of RPGs. Oops. I always tend to explore everything first before going to the quest objective. Let's check by those outcroppings. Alright, combat. of us. Let's see, I can mark prey once per encounter. 20 meters. We'll want to do this. We can do it every encounter, so I don't have to 
worry about having to rest after to get it back. Mm -hmm. And you can knock down people twice per encounter. You'll do that. I don't know if my wolf can do anything special. No. Yep, I know. It's not working! And everyone attack. Oh, you What'd have you to need? still knock down. I have to change the auto pause a little bit. Um. Experimental precious ability. I don't need that. I don't think. Maybe I do. Well, that was over very quickly. Of much, course. Much more quickly than my uh, monk, I think. This is it. Dima says you're a working man. You can see this because we're a labor, so if you pick a different. Uh, what was it? Occupation. You'll get a different thing here. Hard work at that. I was a blacksmith. That's right. Made my building. Made my living as a builder. I was sort of. I was a cook. That's none of your business. Uh, so this lets us basically decide what our background is. It's not like we're just lying right here. It just decides what we have. Uh, what do we want to be? Blacksmith or builder? I don't really want to be a cook. Let's be a builder. Just because I think blacksmith would be the more picked one, not pit more picked option. Let's be a builder. Yeah, how does he happen to come here? Made an error in my planning when my buildings collapsed. That was the end of my short career. I learned my trade when times are good, now that they're hard, no one has need of me. My business partner went off with my money and went into a business for himself. All the people I thought were loyal had different ideas. This one seems more interesting. Now I'm gonna run a ruck, maybe the new setting will turn things around for you. It's been a long time since I've been this way. I always did like it. Lord Ajax offer makes a girl think. I'll give him that. You hear the sell like the rest of this lot. It's a hard offer to pass up. No, I'm just passing through. I hadn't given it much thought. You won't find many offers like it in these parts. Believe me, you got a big plan to score. I'm going to sell here and start a new life. I'm going to lay low for a while. I'm trying not to draw too much attention to myself. Getting filthy rich. I have no idea what I'm going to do next. Probably settle, I guess. Well, who knows? Lady like, pays well enough. Maybe we'll end up neighbors. Anyway, I'm wasting time here. Demo giving me an earful. Let's be on our way. Why are you here? Uh, she sighs unevenly. Her eyes search the ground at her feet. My sister moved out here some time back. She sent me a letter. She seemed worried. That's how she always is. This time, though, she asked me to come out, and that's got me a bit worried. I haven't seen her in ages. Been doing guide work in Ixamental. Well, I'd do anything for her. She's, well, she's a much better woman than me, so I'm here and we'll see. Dim and I have worked with four. He doesn't usually drive the route this way, but he's doing it for me. Tell me about yourself. You've got simple needs like open skies and far horizons. I find work that lets me live my way. My family wanders too. We started, we started in Deerwood, but my parents ended up in the Living Lands. Got a brother in these names, man. R Rayotai, and another in Adir. My sister in the Gilded Vale, she's the only real home buddy. Can you tell me more about Deerwood? There's much, not much for history, but from what I know, it used to be part of the Adir Empire. Broke off before some a war some years back. The locals here are feisty, and that's how they like it. 
I've been out of touch, but I've been hearing weird things, weird kinds of things about it lately. People have been getting trouble with birth, I guess, a lot of them. Been going on for years now, but somehow it's getting worse. With an uneasy tremor in her voice she has, I'll have to ask my sister more about it. Alright, let's get back to camp. You know, I wouldn't hold my breath that Sparfle's getting water anytime soon. That's what he feels like when he feels like it. We should check up on him first, slap him around a little. Streams down that way. Let's go get your water. Alright, but we're out of time here, so I'm going to quick save it, if I remember what key it is. I think it's F5. Here we go. So I will see you all in the next video. If you enjoyed this one, please leave a like or a comment, and if you want to see more, please subscribe. Until next time, hope you all have a good day.